tell us a bit about artistics and how uh, it came about. Uh, because of my art, basically. And I wanted to take uh, art that I did by hand and turn it into uh, a fashion line, which has never been done before. And basically that's, you know, I take my hand paintings, as you can see by actual hands, and turn them into a clothing line with a philosophy that helps people, and it's never been done before. So I'm really stoked about that. It's fantastic. So you're from upstate New York, Rochester? Yeah, I'm a redneck biker that paints in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great tagline, man. I know, but that's who I am. Tell us a bit about Andy, how the collaboration came around. Oh, uh, Andy in this collaboration is, is rock and roll. And that's what he's always known. And for him to collaborate with me and my painting and transferring it to uh, clothes has never been done before. And he recognized that and he was like, dude, let's do it. And I'm like, yeah. all right, let's do it. <laughs> and uh, the line is uh, inspired by Harvest. Tell us a bit about that. Harvest is, you know, it takes uh, American farmers and people that harvest their crops. It's cyclical and it's it's the circle of life and they just keep going and going and so for me harvest was about um, keeping things going the circle of life and so you harvest your crops you harvest a clothing line and it just keeps going so we've got a whole uh, army of models outside waiting for tonight what are you looking forward to mostly tonight success okay yeah right on, I'm gonna, we're gonna rock we're it gonna rock it you're going to see things that you've never seen before as far as fashion. Tell us a bit about Harvest and the background behind that. Well, Harvest is all about Greg Palacini's artwork. And um, it's all these fall colors. He's from Rochester. And this whole explosion of color, orange, burnt red. Yeah. Yeah. Camos. Yeah. Camos, yeah. And uh, what we did is took the artwork and strategically placed it into fashion, mostly trim. And then uh, what we, we designed is uniforms, military uniforms, firemen's coats, chef coats, flight suits. It's all about like fashion uniform. And the best part about this is it's not just putting a painting on a shirt. It literally weaves the actual artwork into the fashion itself. Tell us about the Jane Hotel, how you came to choose the Jane Hotel. Well, in the, first of all, the Jane Hotel is where the Titanic survivors stayed. Yeah. There was like a hundred Titanic survivors. They stayed here and a lot of them stayed here for the rest of their lives. Um, in the 80s, the ballroom here was a rock and roll club. And uh, my manager for my band at that point was the promoter, Rock Hotel. We did shows here, the Ritz, the Cat Club. And uh, I also bartended here. Oh, you did? Yeah. No way. At those hardcore shows. I hear some great music being played. How do you guys choose that music? It's been a, a kind of a hallmark of artistics is high energy, yeah. high rock and roll. Yeah. The fashion is rock and roll. Everything works out well. It's art meets rock and roll. So it's coming together really well. You know, creative direction. Thank God for Andy has taken yes. off like a bat out of hell because of it. Greg's paintings are perfect. And the production team's doing a great All job. About collaboration. We collaborate with Greg, he's the artist. We're in the fashion business, so. And then Darius, uh, evil genius partner, really produced the event from every aspect, and he did a great job. I've done big productions in my life, and we turned this room out. I mean, tonight is like really a rock style. So, and uh, I really love this music. I think this is like, has soul and amazing energy. And uh, I think it's gonna be, a, gonna work really good this collection. I'm loving the music right now. Yeah, Mark and Ramon right behind you. There's, there's some very cool people here. What are you most looking forward to tonight? The clothes, I wanna see the clothes. Proud of your brother. Thank you, yeah, I'm proud of him.